Okay, so to, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, SPSS, particularly in producing descriptive statistics, how to make descriptive tables. Basically, descriptive tables is going to help you out to make proper tables in which you want to do your analysis on. So here I have a data set with me which has a lot of variables involved. Like if a person has a, has a car or not, how much he's earning, what's the gender and whatnot, everything is written in this data set. And it's a huge, a massive data set. So I'm just going to go and analyze descriptive statistics and then I'm going to use cross tabs. I can even add multiple uh, variables in rows and columns as I please. So if I want to do an age in years in rows and household income and then number of people in household over here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now if I press OK, it will show me a complete table, a complete information of how my data is described it. It will take some time. Obviously, it's a huge data set. And it gives you a complete information about age and year set. The age of uh, the information written over here is from 18 to up to 74. Number of people in household is equal to 2. 18 till 76. So these are all the charts. Now as SPSS, in SPSS you can do multiple things. You can make it uh, represent your data in form of charts. You can make tables out of it. In whatever way you can understand how your data is spread in, you can easily get a glimpse of this whole phenomena that is uh, written in your table. You can see that uh, these many people have four, four members in a household. Now this gives you exact uh, information, uh, accurate information according to your data set. So basically you can use SPSS to check in various ways. You can use any sort of data. Like I can, like first I place different type of data. Now I can place different sort of data by using cross tabs. Over here, I'll even add level of education. Now I'll remove this so I can show, show it to you that how it shows you the results in the form of a table. Okay. So before there were charts, now there is a table that shows you all the data that was first being represented in the form of uh, charts, not represented to you in the form of table. So you can easily get a glimpse of uh, the situation you have at uh, at hand and you can easily see how to deal with this data what kind of information you can get out of it for your benefit so that would be it for today because i've just started till over here as I progress, I'll make, I'll make more videos, more informative and more better videos for you people. And that's about it. Thank you. Please do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.